I can't believe I'm saying this, but pack with me for my very first content creator trip. About five days ago, um, Party Hard Travel dropped me a DM saying, would I like to come with them to Ayanapa to like record content, advertise, and I was like, oh my God, I'd love to come. I have never been invited on a holiday before that's all paid for and stuff i've obviously done like events and photo shoots and stuff like that but never went on like an abroad holiday with um a brand before so i'm so excited but literally they asked me five days ago it's monday today we're going on wednesday packing like getting outfits together has been the hardest task because it's not only the weekend but between when they asked me and when i'm going but it was also bank holiday so it was a long weekend and it's just been really really hard i've already got quite a lot of collabs that i was wanting to take on a holiday anyway and i've obviously got a lot of stuff on my own as well I'll record a little video because we can talk about it because i'm so nervous but i'm so excited and we can pack together at the same time so i hope you enjoy this video i've literally got some really cute outfits um and yeah so my organization my organization yeah organization skills aren't amazing <laughs> I've literally, as you can see, got everything around me. I've got bikinis, um, all my like accessories, my shoes, bags, I've got going out clothes, I've got throwovers, the lot, and I've packed well more than the days I'm there for. I'm going Wednesday to Saturday. Um, some people are going a bit longer or going a bit earlier. This is all I could do in like because it was such spontaneous, like such short notice. I'm so excited nonetheless. Um what <laughs> so the luggage wasn't actually booked on with my flight i went on to my booking and added the bu the luggage on because i thought i can't live for like three nights four days isn't it i can't live out of like a little handbag for that no especially on my very first content creator trip i was like i need my makeup bag i need my tripod i need everything i took it upon myself to book me 22 kilograms i'm taking way more than i need but i'd rather have it than not need it if that makes sense i'm gonna start with the bikinis and then we can go into like the other things my dad's just started hoovering and i have told him that i've started this video but i'm sorry if you hear a hoover <laughs> to stop hoovering the landing mm -hmm. i'm so excited I can't wait for like all the parties and everything. I'm so nervous because I've never travelled without like my boyfriend or my friends or my family before. At least the direct flights, that's what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, it's just so weird. I'm just going to start in with the video because I don't know when he's... don't know when he's going to end. But it'd be quite fun because I see this all the time when like girls go to like Ibiza or any like all those type of trips. So I thought I want to do a gold look i want to do a gold bikini have my golden moment oh dude this is literally the only gold bikini well all in one that i could find that ali actually like kind of liked this i was actually surprised i ordered this on saturday from pretty little thing next day delivery not thinking that it would come until like tuesday because of the bank holiday but it actually came on sunday which i was really surprised about it's like an all-in-one it ties around my neck and it has like a slit in the middle and so i tried to find a sarong like tie in so it comes back in couldn't find any that would do like next day delivery and pretty little thing had none on the picture it had one and it was gorgeous and it looked amazing with it but there was nowhere to be found on the website i have this one from a different bikini and not the same gold so i can't really do that so I, i'm probably just gonna wear it alone i got these from primark which i thought were a steal how gorgeous are they? I tried them on and they're actually like so comfortable for like the size of them. Got my gold bikini, I've got my brown sunglasses and I've got like gold clips because I'm going to do like quite a wavy hair look I'm thinking. Um, So that's like my little gold outfit. I don't know what day I'm wearing that because we're waiting back for our um itinerary off the party hard travel company. Said that like a robot then. The party hard travel company and then I can kind of get like a gist off what i actually need then but i'm just packing everything because i've got 22 kilograms and i paid for 22 kilograms i'm using every single weight i can have so the next bikini i actually got sent and this is from color suits so it is this like sparkly diamonded bikini which is absolutely gorgeous i don't actually know what color 
you'd say this is a brown but it's also like a rose gold um but it's absolutely stunning can you imagine that in the sunshine it's gonna be gorgeous and then i already had these from a previous holiday which i've never had a photo in and i don't know why i've never had a photo but it's those viral like everyone's seen these everyone's seen these at some point and i think that would just be like such a cool vibe so i'll probably just pack some sliders uh i think i've only actually got an orange pair of sliders oh no i've got a beige pair as well i'll bring the beige pair just found this as well i remembered that i have a little seashell necklace so that's probably gonna go on with them because it goes with the pants literally this necklace i got off amazon years ago and it has came on every single holiday that i have ever been on if you look at all my holiday pictures i think on my instagram there's one at the top posted that's pinned um from bloody like two years ago and i've got this on my neck because i just love me seashells i've also got a matching one that goes on my ankle which is just so cute this company just never fails with swimwear. So if you're looking for anywhere, you need to go on Mars the label because their swimwear is just insane. This is from their new collection, um, the pastel collection. Sent it me the other week, so perfect. It was like it was meant to be. All in one, but unlike the gold bikini, so this has a massive, I don't know what you call it, like rope? I don't know. Ties around your neck and then it comes around your waist and pulls in the material. Um, so it doesn't keep it, out so it's so flattering and i'm so excited to wear it and it also came with the matching sarong um so this is another little look of mine that i'll be taking i don't know if anyone's seen girls do this on instagram but a lot of people pair it with um like a chunky trainer i have the perfect chunky trainer to go with that bikini so i've got my balenciagas that are like the neon pair me white diesel bag to go with the trainers I'm just so excited. I don't know when I'm wearing these or what events we've got, but I'll be in this. But this next bikini I've actually had for a while as well, but again, never had a picture in it. So it's just literally a cute little pink one. I think this was off Sheen. I got so many compliments in it. It's so lovely. Literally just ties like that, but that's not the steal of the show. Wait, I got these um, sunglasses too. This is what I wanted to show you. It's from Sanucci. They sent me this a while ago and I was thinking, when am I going to wear that? Like, I knew I was going to wait for, like, a holiday. But, oh, how cute is this? Oh, it's a little, little jelly bean necklace. How bloody adorable is that? My hair, I think I'm going to do two braids at the front. Lips in them. It's a very cute look. I'm so excited to wear all of these. I wish I was there for, like, more days because I've just got so many different outfits that I would want to wear. It's a joke. I'm probably going to get some pictures in like the hotel and then go upstairs and just like get changed to whatever I want to wear around the pool. Uh, outfit changes. This is another bikini that I have got a photo in. It's on my Instagram. Um, this was again, this was just off Pretty Little Things, I think. I have the exact same style sunglasses as the pink pair, but in blue. They're so cool. I don't know if I'll be getting a photo in them, but I thought I'll bring them just in case because that became like so comfortable you just take it everywhere with me these sunglasses i'm gonna pair with the gold ones i'm probably wear majority of the time because these are my favorite pair these are just like a brown pair these all these sunglasses are from the accessory queen on instagram she is literally amazing she's got every single style of sunglasses you can imagine these next two bikinis i'm just gonna do really really quick because i don't want it all to be bikinis but it's a little zebra print but it comes with some bottoms and it also comes with this where you can put this either around your waist and wear it as like chaps or it goes around the back of your on your back and you can wear it as sleeves Um, i've wore it as like both options when i went to greece <coughs> oh my god jesus to greece it made me drink when i went to greece in 2020 i wore them there um either way they were literally amazing and I also got this zebra print all-in-one which i was just, just love zebra print around your waist again kind of like the one the label this i actually got i got sent this recently so i've had that bikini for a while but i got sent this recently and i thought i could pair it with it it's just a throw over from missy empire so flattering so gorgeous it's really stretchy i'm only there for wednesday thursday and friday and saturday because i fly in the night time so out of all this, I have to pick four of them. Now what I'm going to do, um, if this is out before Wednesday, please comment which ones I should wear because 
I'm like lost. I love them all. For my bikinis, I'm going to move on to maybe some like throwovers that I've missed. I'll go on to the going out looks. So excited, but like I'm so nervous. I've messaged one of the girls because I've seen her um, party hard travel, like we shared her story. So, so I popped up to her and I said like, hi, I just wanted to introduce myself because I'm coming on this trip as well and I don't know anyone. And she was like, oh my God, I'm in the same boat. Don't worry. This is my very first content creator trip as well. And uh, I have no clue who's going. Never been like alone traveling before. I was like, oh my God, say you. Less stressed. Um, I'm not too much of an anxious person, but stuff like this is big and I'm like I'm not that confident a lot to like handle but it's a once in a lifetime so I'm just like throwing myself at it <laughs> if it doesn't make you nervous then it's not even worth it is it so I've got this long skirt which you tie it you pull it in so it's not as big as it actually looks and I don't know what I'm gonna wear this with to be honest I've got a brown bikini as well but I can't bring any more bikinis because it's like I'm not gonna have time to do all of this anyway. I wanna actually like enjoy myself whilst I'm there. Oh, I love this. I posted this on my Instagram a couple of days ago and everyone was just like, Where, where's that over shirt blouse thing from? Where is it from? It's gorgeous and all this. So shirt is from Pretty Little Thing and it's a blouse. I think you're actually meant, to, like, I think it was for going out, but I wore it as like a sharong type thing, but it's got like these wings black it just goes with everything i think i wore it with own mode bikini i also got sent this the brand here because i know the brand but i don't know how to pronounce it so i'm not even gonna try and butcher it i'm just gonna pop it here um so this is just a co cro croquet crochet it's a crochet one of them type of skirts has a matching top seeing if it was on there but it's not again don't know where i'm gonna wear this i might just pop him inside my bag and if we decide to like go get food or anything i can just like throw it on but like i said i've got 22 kilograms so i'm just bringing everything at this point so i got a set from ego one of these bandanas it's still in the packaging um i love bandanas keeping like caps or anything on holiday just because i always seem to burn my scalp and i don't know why oh this will definitely get worn maybe with um the gold bikini i feel like that would be quite cute i also have this one that i've had for years i just love the orange in it but i've literally got no orange bikinis so i don't know why i'm even packing this to be honest these wedges that are from Simi London. Oh my God, they're my most favorite shoes ever. If these don't scream holiday to you. I don't know what does. So comfortable, the golden as well. Last little throw over that I have that I don't know if I'll be wearing is this, she got this. I don't even know where this is from. Actually got it probably when I was like, like 2017 or something, but it's so cute. Sparkly bits on, it's got arms. And I think this over the pink one will be cute if we go for like any food or anything like that in the hotel. On to my airport outfit now and then my going out. So for my airport outfit, I have um, my new balances down there, which I'll have to move all this suitcase and get off the bed to grab and show you. One second. Okay, so I got these new balances the other day, which I'm obsessed with. I've already got like a little bit of dirt on them though, so I have to like... Give them a little clean up before I go. It's cream colour with, I got this to wear in the airport. Cute, it's already got padding inside. I think it's just going to be so nice, like walking around with my suitcase and like when I arrive and stuff, it's going to be really nice. I always get really cold though, so I got this off Pretty Little Thing on Next Day Delivery as well. It was actually like discounted as well in the sale blazer. So I'm going to wear that over the romper with my New Balance trainers, like Nike socks, maybe a beige cap but can't find a beige cap everywhere anywhere and I haven't got one either so it's Monday I'm probably not gonna have one <laughs> that kind of vision isn't happening that's what I would have done probably okay the best bit we're moving on now to going out outfits I literally did this up for the video but it comes under an Alicia in it brown corset that I got sent from pretty little things dead cute and it's like such a nice material of when like you haven't wore a corset yet so all the like bonage is like completely straight still and it's like do you know when you like sit down and it starts like bend 
oh, I hate it when it starts going like that. Ah, and then I've got this tassel skirt, which is like tiger print. I tried them on together and it's literally so nice. I'm probably outfit number one, maybe on the Wednesday night. This is an outfit I got sent from Ego. So it's like a little corset top. It goes around your neck. Love like the distressed look. And it came with the matching pants as well in distress pants but these are low rise um i tried them on it looks okay it's like just above my belly button but i like it like right up on my hips so i don't know i'm gonna take it hopefully get some pictures maybe in the hotel get some pictures if i'm not wearing it out but then i might wear it out i don't know yet i'm gonna have to see on the day i've got my portable charger charging up there and another little portable light i uh, literally has so like body sprays wipes my hairbrush, um, Hydrogenius, just like skincare. I've got my hair oil, SPF. I've got a clip. I've got my body glitter oil thing, which is going to be gorgeous with the gold bikini. Very excited for that. Perfume. Then I've got my, ooh, I've got my to be tanned peach and also my gel. If you want to ever try this i've got a discount code lucy peach it will get you some money off and oh my god i swear by this i should be coming back with the best tan of my life because these are just especially the gel you can't use the gel in a lot of sunbed places so i do use a lot of the time the cream love the gel the gel is just such more for like an intense brown it's like you go deeper it's like a deeper color um so i just love to be tanned i'll pop my code here just got deodorant a little this is from lula bells um this is just for like my flyaways just got some like little hairspray that's my ankle one my ankle seashells my seat walls just in case i've got a little buffer for my um oil things i've just got like all sorts packed in here why is your hair on it oh my hair literally get there so i don't think anyone would want to be my roommate to be honest but I've got these little earrings. I've got all sorts of earrings. I'm not even wearing anything. I was going to say red, but it's pink, actually. Could wear that with me pink outfit. I want it to be, like, overkill, though. Um, Because I've literally got, like, sunglasses, my jelly bean. I don't want it to be too much, so I don't know. We'll see with that. We'll see what I end up doing. Got this, like, little hairband as well. This literally just pushes all my hair out my face when I'm sunbathing. Today I have got so much to do. I have to go to the, the post office and send some Depops before I leave. Again, I'll pop all the brands here. Diesel bag. I've got my Ego bag, um, which this is like screams holiday, especially when you've got a tan, especially if you use the 2B tans. My Ego, kind of like soft Yeezys. Um, I wear them with like a lot of my brown bikinis probably jacket i'm absolutely gutted about because it did have on the website a matching skirt i thought ego was gonna send with the jacket but it was out of stock the jacket but it's that type of denim that i don't know what you compare with it um i love it though it's like the jaded london um dresses and it had the matching skirt and it looked so gorgeous but i don't know what i compare this with because I just don't know. It like comes to a point at the bottom. I'm thinking maybe pairing it with a silver skirt. I tried it on together and it doesn't look that bad. Um, It didn't look right with like colours or black. It just didn't look right. And it doesn't look right with denim either. So silver might be the way to go. I've got a silver bralette. So I was thinking just using the jacket as a jacket instead of a top. And I have a silver bag as well. That's a possibility. You know if I'll end up getting a photo or wearing that until maybe the skirt's back in stock. I don't want to not do it justice. Cause this is from Mars the Label. It's got like a slit in the skirt um, and it like ties around. And it's such a gorgeous colour. The matching bralette, the little jacket that goes around it. So I'm thinking this would be really nice if we were going like for cocktails or like for a meal. Again, I don't know the itinerary. It's not really a club outfit um but i'm gonna bring it just in case if we go to anywhere like a bit more up class fancy so i picked up these shorts when i was this is not from primark but when i was at primark like a tiny little boutique um but they're just little like flowy shorts because i thought you always need like a good pair of shorts on a holiday um 
to go over bikinis or even wear on a night out. Um, I got sent this pretty little thing top. It is very baggy on me. I don't know if I'm actually going to wear it out, but it would look quite cute with the shorts. It's just like lace and it's got the arms. And when I tried it on and I had, because I've already got like a bit of a tan, it did look really nice, um, but it just was a bit too baggy. So I've got my makeup bag to pack into all of this as well. And I've got two more outfits to show you for going out. I'm leaving like my favorite to last. But this one made for me last year, I think for a festival. Not too sure what the brand was. It's like bright orange skirt and it's got like a drape a bit. Has a matching top, which is like a halter neck ties around your waist and I thought this would be a really nice one on holiday as well. I'm gonna bring it if like all else fails, if like the green jacket doesn't work and if this is too baggy and everything, I know I've got that as like a backup which I love. And this is my favourite outfit, I literally tried this on and I like snapchatted my friends straight away, I was like look at this dress, I'm edgy, it's so flattering, it literally holds you in all the right places, you don't have to wear a bra with it, it's literally the coolest dress. It's from Ego, literally a distress dress it's just like this it's me and it's just so flattering and i can't wait to wear this this is probably going to be friday night i'm so excited to wear this dress pairing with for shoes with that i'm thinking because it is like a dark denim in my neon bag i've also got matching sunglasses so i'm thinking because it's dark denim brighten it up a bit with like a bit of neon it's literally everything i think i've <laughs> i need to actually pack it properly because i've literally hurled everything in as i was going but yeah i'm very excited um my flight is at half nine on wednesday morning so i'll be going at like 5 a.m i'm gonna try and vlog as much as i can as i'm there i've got like my portable charger and everything like that so it should be completely fine i don't think i'm gonna get money out i think i'm just gonna use my apple pay i've done that before on holiday so it's probably easiest at all the events as well we've got like drink tokens so hopefully i'm not going to spend that much money um yeah it's all very exciting very nervous though i like just be out there alone it'll be so exciting and like once in a lifetime so this is the end of my vlog i hope um well my pack with me vlog i hope that you've enjoyed it and i hope this has given you like some inspo if you're going abroad this year also i just want to like like encourage others to just like do anything that like makes you feel nervous but like you really want to do it don't let like your anxiety or like your fear of doubt like stop you from doing anything because you can literally do anything you put your mind at i didn't think when i was starting like instagram that i'd be invited to like places like this i've seen girls get invited to places like this who were like massive influencers but i think i was i would never get to that point and now 2023 has came and there's so much exciting things happening this month alone never mind the rest of the year that just makes me think like if you just if you're constant with something that you're passionate about anything can happen and i'm just so grateful for everything that has happened and i can't wait to take his with me hopefully it will be so much fun and i'm so excited thank you for watching and i'll see you in napa